My name is Marcus Mahler. I'm a pediatrician and professor of pediatric respiratory medicine at the Charité University Hospital in Berlin, Germany. I work on chronic lung diseases in children, in particular cystic fibrosis, which remains the most common fatal hereditary lung disease worldwide. I lived in southern Germany at that time and had just finished high school and was invited to a birthday party of a friend in Berlin on November 8th. So I happened to be in the city when the wall fell on the next day and this was truly unexpected and really amazing. Our research breaks the wall to an effective therapy of the underlying cause of disease in patients with cystic fibrosis who suffer from sticky mucus in their lungs that makes breathing difficult and forms an illness for chronic infection and inflammation that progressively destroys the lungs over time and leads to early death. The underlying genetic defect was actually identified in the same year the Berlin Wall fell and this discovery raised hope that it will one day be possible to treat this devastating disease at its root cause. This was the key motivation for me to start working on cystic fibrosis shortly after this discovery but before we could think about a therapy, we first had to understand how the genetic defect causes the disease. And the key findings were that it disables the formation of an ion channel called CFDR that is essential for salt and water transport in healthy airways and that this defect impedes the lubrication of airways and makes the mucus so sticky that it cannot be cleared properly from the lungs. Based on these findings, it became possible to identify small molecule drugs that can act like band-aids to fix the formation and function of the CFTR channel affected by the most common mutation called f 5 del that is present in about 90% of patients worldwide. Together with my team and in collaboration with international colleagues and the manufacturer, we have now been able to test combination of these so-called CFDR modulated drugs in clinical trials in patients where we found that a triple combination therapy that is able to address multiple molecular defects in the CFDR channel is highly effective in restoring mucus clearance from the lungs and thereby leads to unprecedented improvement in lung function and quality of life of our patients who can now make new plans for their lives. Based on these results, the FDA and EMA have recently approved this triple combination drug as a breakthrough therapy that is now available for up to 90% of patients with responsive mutations who suffer from this devastating disease from the age of six and older. There's a real breakthrough in medicine that may also serve as a blueprint for the development of effective therapies for the approximately 8,000 other rare genetic diseases that have limited therapeutic options and collectively affect millions of people worldwide. Traditionally, new therapies are first developed for adults and it takes many years before they become available to young children. Since cystic fibrosis is a hereditary disease that breaks out in babies, the question that keeps me awake at night is how we can get this breakthrough therapy to young children as quickly as possible and achieve optimal lifelong benefits for patients who are born with a disease today. For the future, I hope that we will be able to treat the root cause of cystic fibrosis in all patients, including the approximately 10% who do not respond to the current therapy, and I really hope we can apply what we have learned from cystic fibrosis to find breakthrough therapies for children with other severe lung diseases. And this is a topic we are actively working on in my team.